Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Com and welcome back to City Skylines. We are here in Blue Valley at this fireplace and it is night time uh, because I wanted to show I have not shown you how this fireplace looks in the night. But uh, anyway, uh, what we are doing today is another of those areas where you can go down in first person perspective and look how it looks. Um, yeah, this is a valid sentence. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I'm constructing a mine. I want to do this for a while now because of uh, if you go out of the first person perspective, I have to uh, carefully go there to, and I don't want to spoil you because I actually recorded the time lapse here. You have this belly and yeah, um, Normally, if you have a valley, you have a river, but uh, there's obviously no river here on top of the mountain. So I thought this could be because of an accident in a mine and everything blew up and everything crumbled down 50 years ago, you know. And now there's trees in there um, and everything was destroyed. So I made an abandoned mine. mine? Yeah, I can't speak today. Um, yeah, this is what I'm doing today. And where's the fireplace? Here it is. If I can go back to first person perspective, please. Here we go. Uh, yeah. This is what I'm doing today. And I got some comments in this episode to make a waterfall here um, at the start of this river. And I tried it out on a separate map, but uh, it turned out to look not very realistic and not very good in general. So I dropped this idea. But um, if I come, out, come up with a way to make a waterfall, which looks good, I will certainly do that. And now the music has stopped, I guess. Yeah, it has stopped. Because uh, I put the music on afterwards. So I hope you like this time lapse and let's go!
welcome back here in the slow part and we're with uh, some uh, music in the background are exploring what I've done and created here and just uh, a quick thing I want to show you is this error it is the same as I made a, a video about it a couple of weeks ago but uh, actually it it is hidden here in the uh, cinematic perspective and I think I know the culprit and it is my camera mod because I, normally there would be uh, you know something of a, a how is it called a, a, a bar where you can add some waypoints and it is not here so but uh, this should not conflict with uh, what I want to do here because I want to explore with you what I've done here in the first person perspective but before we come here to this beauty we, I want I just want to show you the forest I did and I I, pre I pretty like it. it I think it looks beautiful with, with those tall uh, trees those tall pines or uh, I don't know how they are called exactly and I'm not sure if this is a uh, an attribute of the Spanish uh, forests. I'm rather certain it isn't, but uh, I still made it because it looks very good, especially here with uh, the rock texture and the grass texture and everything. But what I wanted to show you first is this new uh, small neighborhood. It is, uh, you know, um, the cheap neighborhood here in the expensive town of Monte Hiero and yeah I finally managed to use the uh, uh, south of France houses uh, because apparently um, I uh, tried many different things and apparently the collection I had and the theme uh, uh, had no assets in it so I waited a, bit, a little bit long and when I s uh, realized it I could not go into the uh, district team manager fr from the game because it crashed and I downloaded uh, building themes per district the mod and now it works just fine. And finally I got those houses in and I think they look very good, they are very small for a city skyline's perspective, but actually they are quite big, for example. Uh, as a townhouse, this uh, this house here contains one family, one garage, and is quite big, I guess. Or, uh, yeah, there are other other buildings like this one, two garages, it's a luxury. Yeah. This, uh, these are actually reasonably sized houses for city skylines, but I don't want to ramble about the size, uh, the size of everything, because there would be so much to ramble about. But I, I want to show you now this part of what I've done, and so let's just hop into the first person perspective. Here we go. And this is, um, as I mentioned in the last episode, this is also. Uh, one of those um, places where it is advised to go down with the first person camera mod and to explore the uh, what is here from the ground and here we have some worker homes some abandoned worker homes from the mine and here uh, you know like a, a building with uh, it's it's supposed to store the resources they gathered but uh, yeah, it, it is like it is more of like of a of a of a place you can put your trash in now. <laughs> well, I think it, it looks good. It is realistic. Well, it do certainly doesn't look good, but it's realistic, so I included it. And here we have some more workers' homes with uh, garbage bins. They're uh, obviously not collected since 50 years, so <laughs> I think the smell would be gone by now. But <laughs> you can never know. And uh, these homes are actually from the Victoria team, but uh, you can download them as props. So I, ma I made that. I did that, and yeah, here we have some more things, you know, 
everywhere you, you see cypresses because they are all artificial here. Uh, they are they were planted 50 years ago or 100 or whatever. And uh, this area are still here because they why would they want to go away? And here we have the be behind uh, what's left behind from the mine too. And here we have the abandoned rail yard. And this uh, rail prop is pretty good. It is realistic and has the has the right size. But uh, as you can see, this is the center here, and I didn't I didn't cover it up to show with you. Uh, if we go away from the center and look away, you can see the rails disappear. Um, yes, here, here they are disappear. But um, yeah, I don't think this is a a uh, too serious problem and here those bushes with the grass they are pretty new in the workshop but I I really like them and they fit in here quite good you know like the bushes that have reconquered this uh, rail yard and some um, tree wagons you know there those logs are used to stabilize the mine down there and yeah hey here you see the the rails disappearing. Uh, this is the entrance for the mine. Uh, it certainly doesn't look really good because from the underside this roof you can look through this roof. But this is actually a standard prop. This is um, I think in the supermarket used. But I'm not sure. And here we have those houses again from the last episode. And yeah, that's it basically from this area and here we have some pines and I, I really like how this looks uh, this is inspired from uh, Scotland and they there are some areas that look like this which is very very uh, sparse sparsely um, vegetated ground and just pines and there's rocks yeah, that's that's it, I think. And um, yeah, of course the vegetation. I, I, I gave, I gave my best to do it, to look it, to make it look good here in English difficult language. Um, here we are. And yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, part here. I think I personally. I think this looks very good, and it's also very good, well arranged, I guess. And yeah, also this forest. If you like it, then I'll uh, make it. Then I'll make the whole mountain look like this forest. And yeah, that's from my side. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've liked this video, you can leave a like. If you want to see more of Blue Valley or New Compton, you can subscribe to me. Thank you very much and goodbye.